Hello, this is Mark Sadler of Best CAD Tips. Today's CAD tip is how to import a step file into AutoCAD. Step files are created by solid modeling software such as SolidWorks or Inventor. Today's uh, exercise is importing a speaker. So first we'll make sure that we're in the 3D uh, workspace. If uh, you need to, go down to this gear button at the bottom, workspace switching, and choose 3D modeling as your workspace. Then we'll go to the insert tab in the ribbon, the import panel, and the import button. That opens the import file dialog box. Be sure that your files of type selector is set on step. It's near the bottom of the list. Then you'll be able to see the uh, file that you've saved. Just click on it to select it and hit the open button. This uh, dialog box says the import job is processing in the background, but actually it uh, will not start processing until you close this box. So go ahead and close the box. Now there's a button in the bottom right corner. It's a white sheet of paper with a blue arrow. And if you hover over it, it says import job in progress. Sometimes a speech bubble will pop up down here saying uh, the job is complete, but sometimes it does not pop up. Uh, if it does, it'll have a link that you can click to make the object appear on your screen. I go back and now the import job is complete, so I'm going to click on that white button, right click, and say insert. And there is the speaker. Now I'm going to go to the view tab in the ribbon and uh, go to the my list of views and choose southwest isometric. And I notice that the speaker is lying down flat on the floor. So I need to fix that. In order to get to the uh, gizmo that will allow me to rotate the speaker, I need to change into a 3D visual style. So I'm going to go up here, still in the View tab, go to the Visual Styles panel, pull down the list of visual styles, and select Hidden, which is a 3D visual style. Now I can click on the object and see this gizmo, they call it. The gizmo is a, a rotate gizmo. So you may see a, a move gizmo. And if you go to the Home tab, over to the right, you'll see a pull down where you can choose either the move gizmo or the rotate gizmo. We want the rotate gizmo. Now we hover over the, the circle that's in the plane that we want to rotate the object. In this case, we'll hover over this red circle, click it, and get a preview of how the speaker is going to rotate. If I turn ortho on and then move my pointer upward, and then be sure you're not snapping to anything, click in empty space, escape out, and now your speaker is turned the right direction with the top of the speaker aligned with the top of the view cube. Next thing I want to do is move the speaker onto the origin point. And I'm going to click on the speaker and I'm going to start my move command. I'm going to click for my base point on the front left corner of the base. Turn ortho off and now I'm going to type in 0 comma 0 comma 0 to put that bottom corner of the base right on the origin point. Now if I pull down the list of views again go to view tab views list and choose front I get a front elevation of the speaker. If I pull down the list and choose top I get a plan view of the speaker. So let's go back to the front view. Now we're ready to create an elevation and that'll be in the next CAD tip. Come back soon. Keep on CADing.